goodness gracious is this is is this all for real do do, do do you guys do you guys see that do you guys see that can someone please tell me what the heck is going on here what is going on this is the kind of stuff that i talked about in my other youtube video just a little while ago why do people do things like this this is not even fitting anymore it is time to stop this is littering my friends look at this is this for real look 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 cookies we got cookies here some bread this is this is littering oh my goodness God. i don't understand did you know that when all this food over here right if they don't get eaten by the waterfowl they're not supposed to to begin with it gets moldy and then when the certain organisms eat the moldy bread and stuff like that they can actually get this illness called aspergillus this is a serious story right people come out here and they feed this wild waterfowl which is illegal in pennsylvania thinking that they are helping the birds no you are not you are feeding them basically pizza every day right because this is all carbs instead of them going out there and securing a diet that has all the components that they need to live. Imagine if you had a kid and you fed your kid pizza every day. What would happen to that kid, right? It wouldn't get enough vitamins. It would be obese. It would be super bad for the kid, which is why you have to have your rice, your veggies, your meat, all proportional. Same thing with birds. You can't just come out here and feed them all bread and think, oh, I'm doing a great favor for the, for the birds. No, you are not, man. You are not. Ah, anyways, I'm starting the day already pissed. I just came to my local trout creek. I thought we just had a heavy uh, session of rain recently and the, treat got flo uh, and the creek got flooded. Look, all the birds are coming because the birds think I'm going to feed them. No, I'm going to feed nobody. So I decided to come here to see if any of the trout from upstream kind of got washed down in the stream, right? I have not yet caught a trout for the year of 2020 so i thought if i catch a trout today that is going to be the tenth species of this year right how cool is that uh bear with me i'm gonna put my ultralight together leo calm down just calm down the world is not fair not everyone is smart okay let's get the fishing started now like i mentioned at the beginning of this video my hopes are that the rain and I wash the fish from up the creek to down the creek. So that's number one. And the second thing that I really hope is that all this rain got the current flowing, right? So uh, got food coming down the creek so that the fish are feeding at the moment, putting them kind of into a feeding frenzy. So I'm gonna stay here for a few minutes and if nothing happens, I'm gonna move. Hopefully I'm going to catch a fish over here though. <sighs> all right, the power bay did me no good. I spent some time here, about 15 minutes, casting different directions, um, you know, different places, and didn't get a single bite. So, before moving to the next hole, I'm casting a little Thomas EP series inline spinner, which is a great lure to use against the current, right? I'm really in a different speeds each cast and casting different angles so that I can see if there's any fish around. The beauty of using the EP series or a spinner in trout streams like this is that even if you don't condition the fish to bite your lure, sometimes they follow it. And just by looking very carefully, you can see them in the water so you know that there are some trout around the area, right? I will give a few more casts here with the spinner and then if nothing shows up, move to the next hole. No follows. Wow. I got a fishing line, first catch of the day. The, now, what are the odds of this happening? I, I'm not exactly sure. And this fishing line actually comes with a float and a grub. Jeez, Louise, look at this. Man, I got a whole setup. I got a little, and this is, this is what, this is braided line. Okay, got a little Komal weighted float, Walmart style. <laughs> no man, not catching fish out here, Leo. Catching rigs, a little Komal way to float. And we got ourselves. Wow, this is a pretty darn big hook if they were going for trout, okay? But okay, let me get rid of this trash here. Whew. 
a little bit of walking. I am finally getting to one of the juiciest spots in the entire creek, the falls of Boston Avenue. There should be nobody fishing over there today because it is holdover trout, you know? People fish when they stock it, give it a few months and then nobody comes anymore. Oh yeah, that is what's up. Nobody here. <laughs> Just as I predicted, beautiful place, nobody around. Let's see if there's any fish here. Just got to be careful not to slip and fall here because if you do, fishing session for today is over, you know? Hey, man, nothing directly above the falls on the spinner. Let's try below. I just gave about 15, 20 casts with the spinner under the falls. The spinner under the falls, not too hot either. So you guys know what is the plan. Okay, magic dough, go down there and do your trick. We got a bite on the power bait. I kid you not, we got a bite on the power bait. That was not the current. Didn't take it, but we got a hit. Oh my goodness, dude. It's on, fish on, on the power bait, son. What did I tell you all? What did I tell you all? I told you the power bait was going to work, bro. I told you, hold over trout. Go for the magic dough. Look at that, huh? Yes, yeah, son, first trout of the day. If I lose it, I lose it, all right? If I lose it, I lose it. I don't have a net with me. If it comes up, it's dinner. Flip it like you want it. Oh yeah, boy. What's up, little fella? Wanna say hi to YouTube first trout of 2020? Well, I am going to take this trout for dinner, just so everyone knows, so I don't really have to worry so much about wetting my hand and whatever, you know? It's going to be food, right? But I just wanted to show you guys here real quick. Oh, easy, easy, feisty, feisty. Beautiful rainbow trout, first fish of the day. Booyah, look at that, huh? Gorgeous. That is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. The main objective of the day is already accomplished. So I already got my 10th species of 2020, but the limit for trout for the fall and winter here in Pennsylvania is three a day per person. So technically I can take two more home to eat if I can find them. And mind you, I really believe that that is not the only fish that is under these falls right over here. So I'm going to stay here for a little bit more and see what happens. Oh, I think we got a bite. Easy fish. Gotta let it take its time. Maybe let go. I am pretty sure I had a bite right over here, but I think the fish let go sadly. Man, these holdover trout are pretty finicky, pretty finicky. Wow, it bit one time and then nothing. I mean, no damage really to the power bait, but sometimes these fish are so finicky, they will come check it out, bite, and that's it. They will just leave. Well, it is getting a little bit crowded, so I think it is about time to change spots. Uh, excuse me, fellas, I'm gonna change to another spot. Careful, all right. Nice meeting you all, all right? You guys have fun, good luck. I just punched my line above the dam here in hopes that something shows up. Eh, you know, folks, uh, the dam area was getting a little bit too crowded for me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got plenty of other holes that I want to hit today, right? Explore a little bit more. So I kind of decided to leave over there for those folks in hopes that they catch some trout for dinner as well, right? After all, I already got my one today. I'm not getting skunked. Sharing the love, you know what I'm saying? Because I really do, I really do believe that there are more trout down there. So I'm going to stick above the dam, give a few casts over here for uh, a little bit more there should be rain moving in in the afternoon and after that i want to hit one of my 
juicy holes under the dam, a little bit of a walk, maybe half a mile, to see if there are any trout left there. Last year, I lost a holdover trout over there, like 18 inch, real nice. So we will see what happens. Just to say, I'm not kidding. It is 4.04 p.m. right now. Sunset's coming at 4.30. I've been working this creek all around above this dam, and I, not a single bite. And I tell you what, people just left the dam area. So I'm going back to the dam to try to catch the fish that I missed earlier today. The thing with winter fishing is that a lot of people will come out here and just fish for a little bit. And then if they don't get bites, they kind of leave, you know? I mean, I kind of understand too, not everyone comes out here and they have all the time in the world to fish, right? This is my job. That's why I can fish the entire afternoon and so many days out here. All right, let's put the power bait on and see if that fish is still around. Come on, get it, boy. Get it, get it. I'm pretty sure I got a bite here, folks. Just waiting for that fish to kind of inhale my power bait. He maybe gave up again. Is this for real? Oh no, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, boy! It's on, it's on! Second trout of the day coming up here, boy! Everyone left the falls. Nobody has faith in the falls. I had faith in the falls. And I got rewarded for it. Flip it like you want it! Boy, that's dinner right here, boy. I'm not gonna steal one rod's catchphrase get in the boat, but that was a, that was a beautiful flip right there. Hell yeah, boy. Everyone gave up, everyone gave up. You see, there were people here. They all gave up. I didn't give up and I got rewarded. I have to tell you, these right here are beautiful fish. Holdover trout, not many of them left in the creek. Man, I'm so happy I came back here to the dam. Ooh, sunset is right around the corner. I am actually losing light pretty quickly out here. So this footage is probably going to be very interesting. I really tried real hard this afternoon to catch my limit of three rainbow trout. And I tell you what, it didn't happen. But two out of three for holdover trout is not really that bad of a deal you know look this is the biggest one of the day right they are all very healthy looking fish check that out right this is going to be my dinner for tonight i would like to emphasize so i'm gonna finish this video by giving you guys a little universal knowledge when it comes to fishing for stock trout so that you can apply to your local trout streams right you see winter holdover trout fishing is all about exploring, broadening your horizons, right? Most people go to their local creeks and they usually hit the holes that they're comfortable with, right? The holes that they're familiar with. Nothing wrong with that, you know, I did that today as well. But the key is to not work the hole for too long. That is the key. You have to cover a lot of water, okay? So go to different holes and work different holes because this is how you catch the fish. If you work a hole for like an hour, two hours, right? That is just not productive. You stay at one hole for like maybe 10 minutes. And then if the fish doesn't bite, you just hop to the next hole. This is exactly how it is with winter fishing, okay? You hop to one hole, you hit it, nothing, go to the next hole. I'm telling you, man, the key idea is to explore multiple holes to catch your fish. So there you have it, okay? The secret is out of the bag. I kind of think it is common sense, uh, but you know, it is not common sense for everyone out there, right? So thank you very much for watching this video. It is getting dark. I will see you guys next time. I need to get out of these woods.